Hey guys, even here, so Yamamoto France Pro is over and as you guys probably know, this is your winner, it's Patrick Johnson. As you can see right here, he looked pretty freaking shredded, like he looked super dry, especially from the front, especially in those chest, in arms and also the side pose, look at the side leg, look at the glutes, especially the side quad and then when he flexes the chest and his arms, like he was pretty freaking dry, he wasn't that dry from the back though, and he was a little bit on the flat side, I would say, but look at his side tricep, look at how dry he actually was, so conditioning was great, his hamstrings were peeled, his glutes were kind of softer a little bit, but still they were dry, look at the back here also, looks great in the transition, but when he does the lat spread, it doesn't look that good, it looks kind of smooth, same thing in the back double, so he was wasn't perfect, he had flaws, and the question is, was he the rightful winner of this show? So as you can see, the lower back is also very smooth, and I'm not thinking he is watery, I think he was just too flat. It looks like he used a little bit too much diuretics and he was really dry, and in some poses, I would say in this one, for example, it worked in his favor, he looked dry and it was really impressive, look at the, the most muscular as well, like dry as hell. But was he the rightful winner? Because look at Jamie Johal, and you're looking at him here alone, you can't even see how much bigger he is than the other guys, I'm gonna show that to you in a second, the comparison, but first, let's check out their posing routines, because the quality of these videos is really good, and you can actually see who brought what. So Jamie was definitely more conditioned than Arnold Classic UK, but he still had the same flaws that he had at Arnold, at Yamamoto Italy, and those flaws he cannot really fix from show to show, it's gonna require an entire off-season or more, or a few, because it's basically the problem of filling out his physique, there is still more room. But wasn't he, the way he was at this show, enough? To actually win this show, I think he was really close to winning, or at least being second, he looked that good, I think it was really close between him and the other two guys that were in that top three, so it was really close if you ask me, you're gonna see it in a comparison in a second, but basically from what you can see in this video, he brought conditioning, he brought fullness, he looked amazing, and he wins the fans, he wins the crowd, because he has crazy charisma, and he has a very outstanding, interesting physique that you don't see every day, he is a freaking giant, and he is an aesthetic giant. But in that second spot you had Mark Hector, who improved his conditioning significantly from the Arnold Classic UK, significantly, he was way more conditioned, but now that he got leaner, you could have seen a little bit a uh, lack of a fullness in his legs. So he probably did a lot more cardio to get more conditioned and his legs suffered. You can't really see what I'm saying in these poses, in the back and side poses, and that's why he's doing them so much. As you can see, his back is much, much drier. Still, not very hard, a little bit smooth, but I don't think that's like a conditioning issue, I think it's like muscularity issue. But he definitely improved his conditioning, he was much, much better at this show. Even though he lost some of that fullness, it was definitely worth it. Uh, his waistline was insane and this pose was crazy like crazy delts, crazy arms, super small waist. Now, when I was watching this comparison, I thought, Jamie is winning this show. Check out this absent eye. So his legs are definitely fuller and more conditioned, and they have deeper separation than both of these other two guys in top three. Of course, as you can see, Patrick has more of a sweep because he's a shorter guy, but still, I wouldn't say he has better legs than Jamie. I think Jamie has better quads. Upstairs, Jamie doesn't really have the deepest abs, and his lats are not really popping too much, like his lat, his shoulder to waist ratio is worse than the other two guys, so I can see why the outcome was the way it was, but this pose was great for Jamie. What about this pose, back double bicep, honestly, I would have Jamie again. Just look at the back and the conditioning and the details, the depth of that back, look at the freaking shoulders, and then also look at the glutes and the hamstrings, like he was dry and full and big, and I'm not even mentioning how much bigger bodybuilder, bigger man he is than all of the other guys, like he's dwarfing all of them. 
and still all this wasn't enough for him to be the winner or at least a runner-up but I think for him it was he's either gonna be a winner or he's going to be third because if for example Patrick Johnson wins then they are not really appreciating the, the, the height, the big frame, the stuff that he has because Mark Hector is way more similar to Patrick so if Patrick wins that's what they're looking for, that's what Mark Hector has and Jamie doesn't and Jamie had still enough to be in third place which is also a great achievement all right now let's check out the video so as you can see again jamie just dwarfs everybody he stands out so much he's basically the only guy that i'm seeing in this lineup and he has the most prominent separation in legs look at the size of those freaking biceps like he had huge arms look at the shoulders here and look at the confidence and charisma that he has Honestly, while I was watching this, I thought he actually has a good chance of winning. Look at this lat spread, how amazing it is. I still do see those gaps that he needs to fill out, like his legs could be rounder, his lats could pop more in the lat spread, for example. I mean, he still needs to grow more because he's super tall, but even like this, with this conditioning, with this fullness, I think he has done enough to be the winner of this show. I don't think anybody would complain if he won this show. I know I most certainly wouldn't. I was cheering for him. I wanted to see him win this show because he is so special and interesting. But from behind, you can see the silhouette problem. Like there could be more uh, leg sweep. There could be like more lat pop. And that is something the shorter guys in this lineup have. And he, again, he still needs to fill out more. But even with his structure, with his shape, with his silhouette, once again, he looked dominant. He looked good enough for me, at least. His side tricep too was very impressive. And this is the reason why I showed you those posing routines first, because they were in high quality videos. So remember how dry Patrick Johnson was. In this video, you can't really see that, but the judges saw it. So there was definitely that aspect, uh, the conditioning aspect. Patrick Johnson was shredded, dry which is probably the reason why he won and he was like more compact more like a standard bodybuilder and mark hector was the same so that's why jamie was in third even though he looked insane you guys are looking for a great pre-workout vintage blast is definitely what i would suggest to you i would recommend you try strawberry kiwi flavor it's my favorite but you can try whichever one you want the link is down below and if you use my code ivan you get a 15 percent discount Wesley Wissers wins, and I mean, of course he does, he came more conditioned, if he was in same conditioning at Arnold UK, I am very confident that he would have won that show, because he is so amazingly classic, but when he was prepping for Arnold Classic UK, and this is something that one of my followers told me in the comments, in one of his YouTube channels, he said that he was lean enough and he stops doing cardio, he stops pushing for conditioning, and obviously he wasn't ready on time, he wasn't conditioned Arnold UK, however, he fixed that mistake, I was watching his YouTube channel a little and I saw him doing cardio, and look at the improvements, look at the dryness of that back, of the glutes, of the hamstrings, he look at this pose, wow, wow, so improved, uh, he looked amazing at this show, man, this is like an amazing, amazing classic physique, I'm really excited to actually see this guy at Mr. Olympia, and I think he could be more conditioned, if he comes in better conditioning, even when he does this pose, most muscular, he looks classic, because he's just classic all the way, in one of my previous videos, I talked about top three at the Arnold Classic UK, the guy on the left was second, and what I said was, he looked amazing, but he looks more like a bodybuilder, he doesn't have those classic lines, the reason why he beat Wesley at Arnold was conditioning, and now when Wesley fixed the conditioning, he beat him, which was very much expected, not just because his conditioning was better, but because when he's conditioned, he looks better, he looks more classic, he looks more impressive, this pose, for example, looks crazy, his waist looks even smaller, but also, yeah, he doesn't have those flaws that he had at Arnold Classic UK, like, they can't say his glutes are fat, or his hamstrings are fat, or, like, he holds water and fat in his lower back, he did not have that issue, so, of course, he won, he did his homework, he did what the judges were punishing him for, also, I gotta say, the guy on the left, Zagarelli, I think that's his last name, 
he didn't really pose that well, he didn't look that confident, I think something was off with him, and Wesley, because his conditioning was so improved, he looked so confident, and that is definitely something that draws the attention of the judges, if you really feel like a winner, if you really believe it, the judges will see that, and they will be affected by it, and so Wesley wins this show, he gets qualified for the Mr. Olympia, so pay attention guys, because he got more conditioned, he got three things, more confidence, most of his poses were improved, and the judges didn't have anything to knock him for, he didn't have any major flaws, so it was all about getting more conditioned, and I hope Wesley finally understands this, because he wasn't very consistent with his conditioning, he wasn't really bringing crazy conditioning so far, I really hope that now that he is qualified for Mr. Olympia, he's going to bring something insane, more condition, like Chris bumps at conditioning at a Mr. Olympia, and if he does that, how well can he do? Tell me guys, what do you think? How well can Wesley do if he comes conditioned like Chris Bumpstead? You wanna see somebody who is not conditioned? That's Lionel Biecki. He showed up looking like a mess. I read some comments on him and people were saying, this is guest posing conditioning. This is not even guest posing conditioning. This is not good for guest posing conditioning. I mean, the top guys usually show up at guest posing looking better than this. Lionel he wasn't only like off with conditioning, this is definitely not like a peaking mistake or anything like that, this is simply like 8 weeks out conditioning, he didn't do any dieting whatsoever, and also he kind of looks like he, I don't know, went off of gear, or he wasn't doing anything crazy for a long time, like even his muscularity looks worse, maybe it's because of the, all the fat, maybe if he wasn't so fat he would look better, he would look bigger, I don't know, but this is definitely not what we remember, this is what Lionel Biecki used to look like, and he had all the potential, he basically had all the tools in the bag to be one of the top guys in the world, if not even a Mr. Olympia winner, he had it all basically, he still kind of does, I still think he does, but he didn't bring any kind of conditioning, like he came 10 weeks out or whatever, here he was like, I don't know, 3 weeks out, he was not very conditioned, he was never very conditioned on stage, but he was, you know, close, if he basically hired a, a new coach who would really pick him, really dry him out in the end, he would look great, but this? I mean, what the hell is this? And I think this explains a lot, I think this explains why he pulled out of so many shows over the past how many, I think it's been like 5 years, I think his last show was 2017 Iron Classic that I just showed you, so in 5 years he promised so many times he was gonna compete, and every time he said, I have visa issues, I have travel issues, or something like that, but I think at this point he was just uh, making false promises because he wanted to stay relevant, and he never really had attention of, 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 of leaning out, of doing a diet, because he probably just doesn't have that mindset, he just doesn't have that mentality, he doesn't know how to suffer, he's too soft, you know, you need to be a hard man for bodybuilding, a hard person, whatever, some guys are genetically blessed, but they can't really go to that dark place, they want to stay comfortable, I'm not saying I, I know this for a fact, this is just my opinion, and I think it's, it's pretty reasonable, because he was supposed to compete at the Arnold Classic UK, which was a week ago, what his conditioning looked like a week ago, was it worse than this? I don't think it was better, so what did it look like? And why he didn't show up, I think that's the real question, he didn't show up in my opinion because he was simply not ready, I don't think he looked any better than this, he probably looked even worse, and he wanted to create some hype that he was doing the Arnold Classic UK, and he didn't do it, and then he got a lot of backlash, all the YouTube channels, all the media was talking about him, and were complaining about how he made so many promises and he never delivers, and the next show, <laughs> unlucky for him, the next show was in France, his worst nightmare came true, there was a pro show in France, and everybody was talking, now he can't say he has visa issues, he's over there, he lives in France, the show is in France, he has no, he has zero excuses to compete, he could have pulled out, but what would people say after that, so he had to do this show, he did it, 
without being conditioned i'm guessing he did like a one week of dieting before the show he tried to do something at least he was probably much worse one week ago but still this was embarrassing this looked like a mess i don't even want to say he was not conditioned because i don't want to use the word conditioning when i describe this physique like there is so much body fat to to trim off that like he should not have even competed like this i know he felt a lot of pressure and he felt like he had to do it and he probably thought he doesn't look that bad but he embarrassed himself really he he embarrassed himself this is this is not acceptable this is not what a bodybuilder should look like i mean on stage there are like so many uh, first time bodybuilders who competed like very low low level amateur shows and they show up in conditioning like this and everybody's like okay whatever but this is like a pro show this is a pro show pro bodybuilder and actually a bodybuilder who is spoken about as one of the top uh, one of the potentially best bodybuilders in the world right now shows up like this not a very good idea not very smart embarrassing i gotta say this is embarrassing whatever you guys think though what is the reason behind this why did lionel show up like this was it a peaking mistake or was he simply not conditioned at all like he's in complete off-season conditioning and also should we believe him that he didn't compete in the Arnold classic uk because of travel issues or is it because he never really intended to because he was not conditioned he never dieted and he had to do this show because of the pressure because it was in his backyard in france which is my theory which is what i believe if i find out the actual truth i will let you know guys this is it for now tell me your thoughts down below in the comment section like this video if you enjoyed it and for more videos like this guys subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching all the best guys and bye bye